So I see a lot of people ask, you know, how do you resolve conflicts in XEdit? What conflicts do need to be resolved? What can I do to, you know, kind of clean up my XEdit? What patches do I need to make? So we're going to go through probably two examples, maybe three, um, of, of conflicts and which ones do need to be resolved, which ones don't. Um, and what is considered game breaking? So we're just going to load up XEdit real quick. Um, so I have a mod in question. It's called Twitching Plate Fix. It's by this lovely man. He makes lovely mods. Uh, I, I love his mods. Highly recommend. Basically, it disables the physics of the plate, um, of plates to not have them like glitch out <laughs> it's very um it's nice but there's a little conflict in x edit because i'm using another mod from ps bosses or ps boss ps boss made this retexture mod it's lovely you know look at the comparison you know it's very high quality um i don't know if it's custom at custom assets but it's very um it's very high poly it seems Anyway, there's a little conflict that I saw in XEdit while going through records. Uh, let's look at twitching plate fixes. So we're gonna we're gonna see um, we're gonna see here. You know everything's green. And if we go to the little legend here, that means override without conflict, which is fine. You know that's green doesn't always mean good, but green is fine in this scenario. Um, especially when you're override, especially when it's just just in the just in the record is Skyrim ESM and then it's just the fix so that's perfectly normal uh, we see everything's fine and then we see something a little odd here we see red and it's like oh wait what what the heck is this so PS boss uh, for his glaze pot pots he made a custom path for his I'm assuming custom textures and, and meshes um, or at least meshes he made a custom path. You see the path here uh, to load to load the actual object in game. It's clutter glaze plate 01 dot nif, um, and it's normal, normal, normal. And then the you have the unofficial patch, and then you have the twitching plate, which just forwards the records from the uh, I'm assuming, yeah from UESP from the UESP, um, and then disables the phase the havoc physics. So, but there's a little problem here. We're, we we have in the final record, which is being loaded, the, f the farthest to the right is actually being loaded into the game. We just have PS Bosses, um, PS Bosses Glaze Pottery, which doesn't have the fix here. We see all of these. These are, have the fix. You know, they're all green. They're all perfect. <laughs> but the physics are not being actually the disabled physics are not actually being applied. So what do we do here? Well, we could clear, we could clean this up a little. If you right click in the header, you get high dope conflicts and empty rows, which cleans this up. Uh, it basically just shows only the conflicts and not not the entire header, which is very nice if you're dealing with you know bigger bigger records such as race. Um, race records are quite large. A couple other records are quite large as well. It's just much easier to identify how to, and how to make a con error just to make a conflict resolution patch. So we go right here. We could click inside the head or we could click up here or click here. Copy as override into, which is to make a new plugin, new ESP file, and then flag it as an ESL. There's no reason not to. I died. For such a small patch, you're just wasting you're just wasting an ESP spot. Um, so we'll call this twitching plate fix and PS boss glaze pots patch. Name it whatever you can name it whatever. It's just more for organizational purposes. So right now, this just forward this just automatically forward the records of uh, the twitching plate fix. Um. But right now we want the bounds of the glazed pottery because that is something that 
that PS Boss specifically did. We're going to forward these. The physics are already there, and then we're also going to forward the, the path because, well, the path is incorrect. We're just going to have weird bounds. We're just going to have the bounds of the original uh, normal text or mesh with um, the wrong bounds. So we're going to actually forward, you know, the, the, the mod that we downloaded, and there we are. Everything's perfect. Everything's fine. This is what we want. Now, let's say we did make this patch. All all that would happen is the pottery would just load in without the without the twitching plate fix, which is fine. But if you want to get both best of both worlds and make a conflict resolution patch, this is how you do it. So this is a little conflict resolution patch. Let's go to another mod um, that I purposely messed up my load order. Uh, just to, just for demonstration purposes. So we're going to realistic water. I've been trying out water mods, trying to see. Uh, so right here is realistic water too. We're, I'm going to apply a filter as right, right clicking it right here. Um, I'm just going to show conflicts and critical conflicts only. Just going to load that ESP. So right here, if I alt and then left click, I could extend every single header um, or record, I, I should say. So we got right, you know, I just, I went through this already. If we go right here, we have realistic water too, being overridden. The water flow is being overridden by Lux Orbis and the UESP patch for it. Um, so this is a little odd, you know, to not have water seams in your water, you're going to want realistic water to, to take priority. You're going to have inconsistencies and you're going to, it's going to be messed up visually in your world. Now, how do you do this? You could either, you could either, you know, do as we did with, with the twitching plate fix and forward the patch or forward the, forward this record over here. But why do that? How about you possibly load realistic water to after not everything is about making it green. It's about it's about deciding, you know, what takes priority, what do you need a conflict resolution patch? And there's no one size fits all um, scenario here. You need to understand what is what the record is talking about. For this, I just personally know that this is talking about water flow. You can kind of tell default default river water, you know, realistic water to calm water. It's kind of somewhat obvious um we're gonna have you're gonna have conflicts here. realistic water is being overridden but you so you need it to take priority um so these are little these are just two little examples that i would probably that i would like to show to newer players with x that you know i'm no expert expert myself i only started to learn about this probably a couple months probably two months ago only um this is very useful I think to newer players uh, that need to understand XEdit because XEdit is a must if you're making a mod a mod list. Um, I'm just gonna not save here because I actually made this patch already. But if you do when you X out of uh, X out of X edit, save to, you don't need to back it up. It's just a it's just a patch. Um, but I'm not gonna save here. But yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a mod list of I would say over 50 ESPs you need, you need to understand what, how to, loot is not going to be enough. You know, you can launch loot, you could say, okay, what errors is there, blah, 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 but you're, it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. So XEdit is, is, it's a very, it's a very special tool. It's very nice. It's quite easy to navigate once you understand, you know, it's very intimidating at first because you're like, what the hell is this? This is very complicated, but it, in essence, it's simply just a spreadsheet. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, it's a little conflict resolution video. Uh, but yeah, if you want to, if you want me to uh, make more, you know, please leave comments down below. But yeah, thanks for watching.